Salam alaikum everyone, welcome to a new episode from LinguaMeet. Today is a very interesting episode and it's very funny episode because we talk about five of the funniest words in Egyptian Arabic. Uh, words that I personally, as a native, find them really funny and find it strange that we used, they would grow up uh, saying these words and don't know exactly uh, from the other perspective of the listener um, does he or she find them as funny or as um, understandable. Let's explore together and follow with me. Okay, the first word is toz. Toz. Have you ever heard this word before? It's a very short word, but has a very big meaning, okay? So toz, when we say toz in Egyptian, we mean that we do not care. Simply, we do not care. Okay, so if somebody is saying to you, okay, I have done this and done this and done this and I am blah, 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 blah and I have been... Just simply as Egyptian, typical Egyptian, you don't care, you just say toz. Okay, I don't know exactly from where it came toz. I think it came from maybe Turkish. It has a Turkish, um, let us say, um, origins or something like this. I need to take more, but we need, we say toz a lot. And it's a very known word in Egyptian dialect. Another very important word and very funny word in Egyptian Arabic is batiha. Batiha. You know, batiha in Egyptian or in Arabic, batih means watermelon. Really, it means watermelon. It's the, the fruit. But what is it batiha? If you say to somebody, you are batiha, inta batiha, you are batiha, you don't mean, you, you, does not, you, you, you don't mean that you say, inta or you are a watermelon. No. Batiha in Egyptian dialect, it refers to somebody who doesn't know or aware of anything. He just, he, he, he is missing a lot of things. He doesn't, is not aware enough of the situation that we are in. Okay. So if you say, Enta batiha, so you are not aware of what's going on. Okay. This is the meaning of batiha and not the literal meaning of the fruit. Let me say something in Arabic. Okay. So, إحنا هنمشي دلوقتي وهنعمل حاجات كتير. We are going to go now and we will do a lot of things. هنعمل حاجات كتير. And somebody saying to me, عاش, عاش. Okay, so what is عاش? عاش. So عاش, he is saying عاش. This means that uh, he is praying for me to live a long life. So what does it mean? Does it make any sense? Actually, for Egyptians only, this makes sense. Ash here means it's a motivational word. Okay, so I'm agreeing of on what you are saying, and I cannot agree more. And I'm supporting you, and I'm motivating you, and I'm saying with you, Ash, Ash, Ash. So this is how Ash is. So you may hear Ash in Egypt from somebody in any situation that involves acceptance or motivation. If you hear this, just share with me in the comments below. Aash. So let's go to the fourth word. Before I go to the fourth word, don't forget to share this video if you liked it. And also don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and hit the uh, bell button uh, with the subscribe button to uh, make sure that you get all the notifications. And also take a look at the description box below. You will find a very interesting surprise. You will find my uh, Egyptian 101 free course. This is totally free that gives you the introduction about Egyptian Arabic and that you learn uh, the basics of Egyptian Arabic totally for free. So take a look at the description box below and um, hit the enrollment button, okay? Now let's go to the fourth word. The fourth word here is related also to fruits and vegetables, which is kosa, kosa. So kosa is zucchini in English and kosa we, if we say as Egyptians, kosa, we don't mean the, uh, the, 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 the um, vegetable. We mean something beyond it. Kosa in Egyptian culture refer to, refers to corruption. Corruption. So if we say kosa, we say that there's something wrong here. There's something with corruption here and we sense it. Okay, so anytime you hear an Egyptian in a conversation saying kosa, don't just think that he is hungry and wants to eat zucchini, but he is also talking about corruption. 
Now let's move to the final word, which is a word that we hear a lot in school or university and so on. So zabatni, zabatni, for male or zabatini, uh, if a female is talking, okay? Zabatni or zabatini. So what does this word mean? Literally, it means fix me up. Okay, fix me up. And in this, this word is in situations that involves that somebody uh, explains something to you or uh, let you figure out something. For example, uh, if I am um, solving my homework or solving an assignment and somebody is coming to me, tell me, I don't, I don't understand this stuff. Zabatni, matzabatni. Okay, matzabatni. Another very important context for this word is in relationships. For example, if you are, if you have a sister, and you, for example, and uh, there is a girl who is uh, your sister's friend, and um, you like this girl, okay? So you tell your sister, "Mazabatini, mazabatini." So I would say, for example, just tell her, okay, tell her about me, uh, tell her about my personality, um, put me in the scope, in the picture, uh, let her know that I care about her, or okay, something like this, okay? So zabatini or zabatini. I hope that with these words, you have more and more information about the culture of Egypt. And if you visit Egypt one day, try to say these words to natives and tell me the reaction. If you have any question about these words, just write me in the comments below or just tell me anything about or what do you um, expect or what do you think about these words. And if these words, um, you know any of them or not, I'll be very happy to share with you and do, to uh, respond to you. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Share this video if you like it. And also don't forget to look at the description box below for useful resources, my website, my blog, and also enroll for 100%, 100% free in Egyptian Arabic 101 course to have a solid foundation about the Egyptian Arabic dialect. Thanks a lot for watching this video and see you in a future video.